Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. It would be nice to end this week on a high note. It would be nice to have a gentle, uplifting parable from the Old Testament to complete this week of looking at parables in the Bible told by people other than Jesus. However, that's not going to happen, at least not with the parable from Ezekiel 24 that we're going to look at today. And before we begin, I'll have to admit that many of the Old Testament prophets were angry and harsh. In fact, that's almost always why they were preaching and proclaiming God's word. They saw that the people had forsaken following God, and they were calling the people back. And often they spoke of disaster befalling the people if they didn't return to God. It's not likely that you'd invite one of the prophets over for dinner, or that if you did, it wouldn't be a pleasant evening. Amos is a good example. In one place he talks about how the people want the day of the Lord to come, but they have been so faithless that when it does, they won't like what they receive, Amos says. Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord, he says. It will be like you are running from a lion and encounter a bear, or flee into a house and lean up on a wall, and a snake comes out of the wall and bites you. And nobody thinks he was smiling when he said any of this. So, with that introduction, we come to Ezekiel. Ezekiel was a prophet who spoke mostly to the exiles in Babylon, and his message was that their exile was their fault for forsaking God and going their own way. It was time for judgment and God's refining fire. And to help make this point, he tells a little parable. We find this parable in Ezekiel 24, and it's not the easiest to understand. Here's a part of it. And utter an allegory to the rebellious house and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Set on the pot, set it on, pour in water also, put, it in, put in it the pieces, all the good pieces, the thigh and the shoulder, fill it with choice bones, take the choicest one of the flock, pile logs under it, Boil its pieces, seethe also its bones in it. And it goes on from there. In essence, Ezekiel pictures the rebellious Israel like a pot. And two things happen with this pot. First, they take all the choice pieces of the animal and boil them furiously until the pieces are completely gone and therefore good for nothing. And right away you can see Ezekiel's point. Just so the nation of rebellious people will be in the fire until nothing is left worth anything. And that might be the good part of this parable. You see, the other part of this parable is about the pot itself. It is rusty, a sign of corruption. And once again, this is a symbol of the rebellious and corrupt nation. And the they heat this pot until the rust is burned away. What a powerful image of a blazing, intense refiner's fire that burns away all corrupt impurities. And Ezekiel is saying, just so, that's what God is doing among us. All you who think you are so good, all you who really, all you really are is weak, good for nothing, corruption and rust. God's going to submit you to the fire until you are consumed. Repent and return to God. Is it a little hot in here? Whew. In the end, God led the people back from exile, a sure sign that even then God did not abandon them. We now live understanding the love and grace of God, but the call still comes to us to be faithful to God always. As we know, God is faithful to us. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.